Hi everybody, this video is all about load cells. Uh, we'll talk about two things, what they are, how they work, and also how they apply in actual sim racing products. Does the rating of the load cells say anything about the force you have to apply on your pedal or on your handbrake? So uh, let's dive straight in. In front of me here, I've got three models. This small one here is a one kilo load cell. We have a bigger one, it's rated at 60 kilos. And then we have this teeny tiny little one, which is actually rated at 120 kilos. So the first thing you can say, size doesn't matter when it comes to load cells. Their rating doesn't really depend on the size of the load cell itself. But how do they work? Well, mechanically it's quite simple. You have to clamp one end firmly, and then you put vertical load on the other end. And then that is measured as a force. Now that's very in unintuitive, it's quite complicated. So I've demolished one. Here is the one kilo load cell. And if we remove this white protective cover, you see a tiny strip that is glued into place. And when we load the load cell, you get a tiny little bit of bending and stretching going on in the material. And that changes the resistance of this little thin strain gauge, as they are called, which are glued on here. And through a circuit, it changes that voltage that comes out of the sensor ever so slightly. And that's very linear with load. So if you double the load, the output voltage also doubles. So by measuring the voltage that comes out of the load cell, you effectively measure the force that is put on the load cell. So how does that work in, in a pedal, for example? Well, let me get one. We prepared it, as you can see. This is a, a race center pedal. And here at the back, we have a 60 kilo load cell in this case. And I can press on the pedal, which presses on the spring, and that pushes load on the load cell, and that's measured in the way that I just explained. However, how does that work? What sort of force can we expect here on the load cell? Here we have the pivot point of the pedal down here, so that's where it pivots. And then about halfway up, we have the mounting point for the rod that goes through the load cell. And then another half-ish distance up, we actually apply the force. Now, if this distance is half of the distance where you put your foot force, that means the load cell sees twice as much force as you are applying here. So if I put 10 kilos on the pedal, the load cell, which is about at half distance, sees 20 kilos. So in this case, the load cell rating does not equal the rating of the pedal force. And that's a reasonable example of how it often is in pedals. But to give you a more extreme example, Look at our handbrake, which pivots where I'm pointing now. It's actually quite hard to operate, so it's hard to, uh, to show it to you, but it pivots here. You can see the distance to the push rod is very small, but the distance where you actually pull on is very far away. So in this case, we have a 200 kilo load cell here, but if I pull on the handbrake with one kilo, the load cell sees about nine kilos. So you might say, wow, the load cell is, has a 200 kilo rating that says nothing about the force I have to apply, which is only about 20 kilos. So it's very important to look at the mechanism and you cannot really tell anything from the rating of the load cell. It all depends on how it is installed, what these lever ratios are, uh, before you can tell anything about the force you need to apply to the handbrake or the pedal. So I hope you guys liked the video explaining everything you need to know about load cells and their application in sim racing products. If you did like it, leave a thumbs up, like this video, and uh, we'll see you next time.